Hey, 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 it's Donnie B and you are watching Donnie B TV. Welcome back to another episode of Donnie B TV. Of course, I am Donnie B. If you watched my last video, you saw me shampoo and give myself a hot oil treatment. Um, I do have a previous video as well showing you how dry and flaky my scalp was while I had a uh, my silk press so this is part two of my wash day routine of course it is not the same day as you see i have on something different as a mother things come up baby got sick and it's actually three days since i shampooed my hair but i just want to show you how i add more moisture to my hair and my scalp as well as um, styling my hair so I am going to do a flat twist and I'm going to show you the method that I use in order to do my flat twist to get the best results but first I am going to stretch my hair out and give it a blowout look because um, I prefer for my hair to be stretched out as opposed to it being wet because I don't tend to get the best results when my hair is wet. I just don't like it and it seems like very frizzy and undefined. So I prefer to do my hair, my, my flat twist on dry hair. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up on something that I usually do on my wash day, which is blow out my hair. I don't want, right now as you see my hair is dry, but I'm going to moisten it up a little bit. Um, so it'll give, I can add more moisture into my hair. So first I'm gonna start with my first section. I'm gonna take it down. Also what I did was, um, while my hair was wet, I gave it a flat twist to stretch out the roots. So it won't be so difficult as far as um, the blowout process goes. All right, so I'm gonna take this first section, okay? There's some definition there, but I know I can get a whole lot more definition if I use the method that I use in order to do my flat twist, okay? So first I'm gonna take my hair and I'm, ba I'm just gonna do the lock method. I'm gonna take my spray bottle of water, excuse me, take my spray bottle of water to add a little liquid, a little moisture back into my hair. Gonna distribute that. I'm not gonna make my hair so soaking wet because I also don't like to blow dry my hair when it's soaking wet as well. It tends to me it tends to cook my hair instead of drying it like I need it to do. Okay make sure that's evenly distributed. Now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some oil. Okay. And this is the oil that I choose to use here macadamia nut oil of course it is not pure macadamia nut oil um, but this works for me and I like it doesn't weigh my hair down too much so just gonna add a little of that and I don't have to put too much because I still have oil in my hair from when I blow dried it I apologize I still have oil in my hair from when I shampooed it And then I'm going to use something different. I'm going to leave use a leave-in conditioner. Actually, this is a men's product, but I love the way that it smells. And it, it also is intensive moisture, and I love it. My husband likes the way that it smells too. He always gives me a compliment on how good my hair smells. So I like to use this as well. So thick and consistent, it's very thick and consistent consistency so I am going to add a little bit of that make sure I get some of my ends as well And then also what I use is this hair oil. Um, it's Argan Thermal Hair Oil by Red by Kiss. This is one that I have been using 
for a while. Use this to ensure that I don't get any heat damage or anything like that. So I'm gonna break my hair up and evenly distribute that as well. Then I'm gonna blow dry. I'm gonna start from my ends and work my way up with my blow dryer. I'm going to use my Golden Hot. This is my trusty fave. I've had this baby for, oh gosh, I've had this thing for years. Um, the only thing that I, it, it has never got given out on me. The only thing I've had to replace was the comb. This one on Amazon got two, this one and the small one for $5. Of course, I don't use the small one. I've never used the small one because it's just too little. Um, so I make sure I use the, the one with the larger teeth. And from there, again, I start from the ends and I work my way up. Oh, and I also blow dry on medium heat. I used to blow dry my hair on high because I figured, hey, you know, higher heat, go ahead and get this process done and get it started. But what I noticed I was doing is I was really damaging my hair because my hair would be like so brittle and it would feel so hard and harsh. So now I blow dry it on medium. So. And also, if you were blow drying your hair the day of your, your shampoo, you do not, for this process, you do not have to completely dry it. It does not have to be 100% dry, simply because um, you're still gonna be putting some products on your hair that's gonna wet your hair. Um, we're just going for a, a nice, a good stretch on the hair. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be completely dry, but because my hair is already dry, it, um, it gets dry faster. Another tip that I use when I blow dry my hair in the same manner that you would if you're flat ironing your hair, um, I go slow, I make slow passes through my hair so I don't have to make as many passes and it tends to um, shorten and decrease the time as to how long it takes for me to blow dry my hair. All right, so now I'm all done blow drying my hair. Now what I do advise for you, if you are looking for a lighter blow dry, meaning you don't want your hair to be weighed down as heavy, I do not advise for you to use the products that I use. Um, as far as the, the leave-in conditioner, the intense moisture, I would say to use the regular Cantu leave-in conditioner, the one that comes in, you know, the container that's this color and has the orange top, I would advise for you to use them because this this is like a, a heavier, um, a heavier blowout, but because I want my twist out to be super duper moisturized, that's why I use those products in particular. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in order to hide my edges. As you can see, uh, my edges, my temples are very sparse, and that's because I've experienced some postpartum shedding. Uh, my temples, I'm sure if you've been watching my previous videos, you see that I have been talking about my edges in most of my hair videos, but my edges were butt bald, meaning that I could see my scalp. Like, I will later on follow up with me and I'm going to show you some pictures as to what my edges actually look like, but I could actually see my scalp. But as you can see, they are growing back. They are not 100% snap back, but they are coming along. And I'm going to show you a technique and a method that I use in order to still have a beautiful twist out, full and defined, but also that hides the fact that my temples are very thin and hardly there, okay? 
First, I am going to start off by parting my hair on one side, whichever side I want my part to be. I try to get that as precise as possible, but again, because my temples are very um, thin, the part you're probably not going to see as defined as it comes towards the front of my head. Okay, that is about as good as I'm going to get it. And because I am natural, we are natural haired beauties, um, parts really don't matter. Your hair can look as neat or as kempt or as uh, disheveled as you want it to. But right now, this part is going to be good for me. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this part and I am going to slant it a diet. Uh, I'm going to take it along the side, across the top, to going towards my ear. And then I'm going to take that back to the middle of my head. I'm going to part from the middle and go all the way down. Now, these parts don't have to be perfect. We're just setting a base for our, our twist out and to make your hair more manageable. All right, so I'm going to clip up this side. And I'm going to spin around so you can see what it looks like, what my part looks like. Okay, so in the top, that's what it looks like. Spinning around, this is what it looks like down the middle. All right, so our next step would be to part sideways. This is going to be our first part for our twist out. So I'm looking this way because my mirror is over here. So I'm trying to look in the mirror to make sure that I can get uh, my part together, okay? So bear with me. All right, so now we have our part going down this way. Now, what I'm going to do, um, instead of doing a flat twist to where my flat twist goes all the way down this way and then ends, basically ends up in a two strand twist, what I am going to do is I am going to take this part. Here, let me move my hair back a little. I am going to take this part and round it around the back and go down the back of my head. The reason why I take it and I round it around the back, I take the hair and I round it around the back is because being that my hair, as you can see here, there's a hole here because of my temples being gone. So if I were to just do a two strand twist, just going down my two strand, do a flat twist going all the way down, my two strand twist is going to be very slim. It's going to be very small. Um, though that can cause some definition because the smaller your parts are, the uh, more defined your hair is. I really don't like that look and I like a well-defined look all the way around. So that's why I'm going to take it back and I'm going to make sure that there's more hair there so, um, so that it looks uniform across my head. Now, what I'm going to do is what some people and some naturals that have been in the natural world say is a no-no, but I am going to mix Cantu and Eco Styler together. I know what you're saying. I know. 
it usually causes flakes and balls. But I have found the solution to that. What you do is you limit the amount of, or you decrease the amount of Eco Styler gel that you, you put into the section, and you also add a little oil to it, and then that gets rid of, or that gets rid of the flaking that may occur. Now, this is something that I have been doing for years, and I know exactly how much to use when I see it, and I'm going to show you, okay? So first, I am going to put some can two in my hand, okay? Use about that much can two. My Eco Styler Gel, I'm gonna take my finger, add that much, about that much Eco Styler, probably a little less. About that much Eco Styler. The reason why I use Eco Styler Gel is because I wanted to have a little extra hold, and as you know, if I were to just use the curl activating cream, um, the, the hole won't be as intense as I want it to be. So then I'm going to take some, some oil, that macadamia oil that I was telling you about early, and I'm going to add a little to that. Then I'm going to mix it up in my hands. And it looks like that. I know right now, some of you may say, oh, if you mix it in your hand and it coagulates, then, hey, it's gonna flake in your hair. But I see this, I know I see this, but when I finish with putting it in my hair and I take it down, I don't see any flakes. So, I'm gonna add that to the hair, all the way around, make sure I add some to the ends. And I know you see the flakes and you may see the balls and you see the whiteness there, but if you put the right amount of product in there, then there won't be any flakage. Now, if you do experience flakage, that's because you've added too much gel. So next time when you do it, decrease the amount of gel that you add, okay? So now I'm going to comb that out. and I am going to start at the top and begin to flat twist. Now, this is not a flat twist tutorial. I wouldn't know how to begin to teach you how to flat twist. I just watched a couple YouTube videos myself and this is what I came up with, okay? And when I'm doing the flat twist, when I'm grabbing hair, I'm grabbing a, a little bit at a time because again, I want this twist out to be well defined. And I also take my time. some of the end undone and I add a little extra product find an extra product that's on my hands and I add that onto the end I take a smaller comb and smooth that out and then I add my perm rod the other ones off camera and then I'll be back when I'm down from here. Let me turn around. I'm all finished. Turn around. All right. So what you can do, I don't, I'm not going to do it because I'm not really that pressed about it. Um, but on your edges, you can put a little control, edge control there. I just put a little extra of that Cantu curl activator 
And then I am going to tie it down with a scarf. Tie the front down with a scarf to tame those frizzies. And on top of that, I am going to add my big bonnet. Put the rollers in, tucked in in the back. Push this back away from my forehead so my forehead isn't extra oily due to the products. And then like this, I'll just go to sleep. Okay, so it's time for a moment of honesty. It has been about three and a half, four weeks since I did my wash and set. So my wash and set actually turned into a protective style. Um, so we're gonna take it down. Hopefully I still have the same results. So give me just a moment and I'll take this down for you. instead of starting in the front so the hair does not get in my way as I'm moving around my head. Okay, so today is day number two. I'm about to go and get my nails done. I don't have any face on, not that I'm a beauty guru anyway, um, but I'm about to go get my nails done. So I'm gonna take my hair down and show you what I did last night. So I just put on a bonnet um, to keep my curls all nice and compact. I prefer to use my smaller bonnet. I do have a larger bonnet, but again, the smaller bonnet helps to keep my, my curls compact. And so when I get take it out, it can uh, easily fluff and I can shake it out. I don't have to worry about those curls stretching out or getting bent out of shape. So take off my bonnet. See, my curls are all nice and compact. Shake my hair and fluff as I would like for it to be. Also off camera yesterday, I didn't show you, but I did go in and I used the pick because it wasn't fluffy enough for me. Like this side, if you go back and look at the video, this side was not fluffed out as much as I wanted it to be. Along with the humidity on yesterday, my hair did get a little bigger as well as my little one pulling on all of my curls because he doesn't see my curls out too often. So he was amazed by how big and curly and poofy my hair was. So he kept his hands in my hair as well. So as you can see, my curls are still intact. Twist out can last me maybe about a week or so. And then I can start changing up the hairstyles, putting it up in a puff or, or something like that. Maybe even um, do like the um, halo braids because I hate for it to be out too long because my hair tends to knot up at the ends and it makes my wash days horrible so this is what i did again tonight i'm gonna put that same bonnet back on take it off if i go somewhere because being that i'm at home all day every day 
I don't too much go anywhere. But if I decide to go somewhere, I'll just take it off, shake it, run my hands through it again, and I'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget again to like, comment, and subscribe, share my videos, um, and stay tuned for all the other content that I have coming your way. Thanks for watching. Thank you.